Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. You know in life we have to evolve, we have to always think of ways on how to improve ourselves and even the things that we are doing. For the last 20 years, I honed my skills in breeding this ornamental fish and I always look at the mud pond as the best solution for growing out our fish immediately. My mind has been locked to the mud pond and I deem it very important that to my mind, if we don't have the mud pond, we cannot grow our fish immediately and very effectively. But for the last uh, few months, I have discovered that there is another successful way or method in order to grow our fish even without the mud pan. And I'm talking about the cheapest tank that I built right there. I made a comparison. Actually, I dropped some 2,000 heads of goldfish at the mud pan and also I dropped 2,000 heads of goldfish right here at the box pan. This is made of bamboo, very cheap materials. And I made a comparison. They received the same care, they received the same attention, and I was really very surprised because the goldfish that were thrown in the box pan right here grew more than double its size compared to the goldfish in the mud pan. Thank you. 
What I'm doing here is to get the average size of goldfish that are raised here. I already made a comparison just yesterday and I was really shocked to know that the goldfish that were raised here are much much bigger than the goldfish that we have raised at the mud pond. And this is my first time actually to make this uh, big pond with this kind of filtration system. I'd like to mention about the photos plants which are actually very effective in growing our fish. It gives us good filtration system and it grow our fish very naturally and quickly. One good thing about this controlled environment is we can of course protect them from the predators. The predators are the birds and we don't know if the frogs are also coming inside in the mud pond. They will also eat some of our fish. But in this kind of system, you can be uh, sure that there will be no predators because we are already covering this with net. At first, we had this problem about the birds and you made a suggestion about the net uh, system. And I am so thankful about your advice for me to enclose this with net and I did it. And we solved the problem. The birds are not anymore coming over. So, I am continuously catching the average size of our fish here. I estimated this to reach around 2,000 heads of this uh, size. To those ones who really wanted to have a farm like this and you are discouraged because you don't have the mud pan, well, the system is actually working well for us and you can try this one. We have here the red calves, we have the pearl scale, we have the orandas and also we have calico all of them are really really very healthy and of course i expect to harvest more than 2000 of this uh, size by the end of september and it would be much much bigger compared to their size now Let me just add some more in order for us to have a clearer picture of how we operate this kind of uh, box pan. Of course, you know that this is overcrowded because this is a very little pond which has now more than 3,000 heads of fish. If your tank is overcrowded, then chances are the fish will not really grow fast. But we can remedy the, the situation. Even if you maintain the small pan, but if you are going to aerate that properly and you have this kind of, you know, um, filtration system, we have the pipings, you can put more fish in a very limited uh, space of box pan. And this is what is actually happening right now. But the problem is when your country or your place will experience power interruption, because if your tank is overcrowded, and you have just fed your fish and suddenly there is a power interruption that you cannot anymore function the air pump they will naturally die especially if after feeding and there is a power interruption this was my experience before they all died so we have to reinforce this one with backup generator and i have actually backup generator a very small generator for us to temporarily function the air pump during power interruption. And this is one of the important things that you should not neglect. Otherwise, all our fish will just die in an instance during the power interruption. And this is the only thing. Of course, aside from the electric bills that you have to pay, you also have to put some capital by buying this tarp and the fabrication of this. But in totality, I would like to say that the mud pan, which is very effective in so far as uh, our experience is concerned, had been overthrown already. And I can say now that mud pan is no longer that important as long as you will put or establish a tank like this. And what's good about farming this uh, kind of fish, this tropical fish, is 
the fact that you can make a program because this uh, fish if just given attention will lay their eggs every week but if you do an intensive care like feeding and changing of the water you can use them for breeding within seven days so every seven days you have to schedule the, the spawning and this is a cycle so what's good about this is once you already have established the cycle the business will continuously go on and on actually what is happening now is we have this latest batch and you will see that there are plenty of this fish right now which are about to be detached from the egg collectors these are the nylon threads that we use as egg collectors and just one tip if you are going to use this one you will not immediately get this one out of the box after hatch because you might be killing the the ones that are stick to the nylon threads so you will wait for five to ten days when the fish are already freely swimming then that's the time that you can safely remove this uh, kind of egg collector as what we're gonna do today so you will see now that i'm lifting this and the babies are just under trying to escape from the nylons and one good thing about you know getting out this nylon after 10 days is the fact that the babies are already able to run away if you're gonna lift this they will not anymore be caught but they will run away from the nylon and you will see of course you have to make some movement so that they will be notified that this is gonna be removed from them and one good thing about uh, not removing this immediately is the fact that this nylon threads will serve as their hiding place they will be protected from the high temperature and you will see the fish down under they are massive and of course you can recycle this one you can use this one for another batch of breeding but my advice is to air dry everything because this might also bring bacteria to the second batch of breeding we cannot put this somewhere else because they might get the bacteria so i will throw that just like that earlier i said that you can breed your goldfish every eight days every 10 days depending upon the attention and care for the breeders i can tell you very honestly and candidly that this can be done but we have also to consider the controlled breeding what i mean is that you can control the breeding if you don't mix together the male and the female goldfish so if you will change the water and they're mixed together of course they will lay their eggs you cannot control it that's why we have to separate all the males from the females and i'm very honest to tell you that what's here in this tank are all male goldfish no other female goldfish and all the female are there they are placed on separate buckets because once you are going to put them together you will not anymore know uh, when is the scheduled time for breeding but if you will make the segregation or the separation of course you can control it and this is what is we're doing here and i'm looking forward to have this uh, big facility of several types of goldfish and even japanese koi and other fish the libraries that's what i have in mind and i hope to develop the adjacent property right here i am just uh, you know waiting for something to happen for us to be able to make a down payment on the property and we can start this business on a mega scale i hope guys you are encouraged with this video and you will now think about starting your own farm of goldfish and also i would like to thank you for your support of course you're always there to support me and another 
reason for me that why I am very inspired to make videos are the subscribers and the followers that are regularly manifesting their um, appreciation of what we have done here. Thanks also to the members of the channel, you supported us. And of course, we welcome our new subscribers for the month of September. We have 20,000 new subscribers for the month of September and welcome to this big family of uh, hobbyists. And I would like to see you in my next video, only here at Dexter's World!